Good morning. Well, what is it? Uh, it's October 14th. Surprisingly, the sun is out. They were calling for overcast. I'm slacking. It's 9.30 in the morning or something. Just taking a minute. We'll discuss a couple things. First, we'll... This. Most of my pole, all of my poles are two-piece. One, they fit in my Jeep really nice. Two, they fit in my Jeep really nice. And <coughs> Of course, a little back, quick background. You know, I fished as a kid, like most kids, I guess, do get a chance to do fish as a kid. This particular rod is not meant for the reel that is on here. This is just a cheap. Well, cheap is what I, I like to do. I'm too cheap sometimes, I guess. But, all right. Let's take a second. All right, I fished as a kid. I only started fishing again a year or so ago. My best friend loved fishing. He loved it, loved it, loved it. You know, one of those six dozen poles, $4,000 worth of tackle kind of loves fishing kind of guys. And unfortunately, you know, this past summer, he died suddenly. But I continued to fish. And I'd always, you know, I'll go get it actually, hold on. Okay, never mind. Uh, that aggravation notwithstanding. I've always had, you know, spinning rod, rods and reels and like so many other people these days, when you want something new or want to try something new, you know, you read lots of YouTube. There were a lot of good, there were a lot of bad. About a cheap bait caster, which as anybody can see right here, that's what this would be, is a $40 Cast King Spartacus Plus. Okay, can we see it? I got 20 pound braid on there. I like the braid for whatever reason. I seem to have just, I like it better. It was never a big, I, the only other bait caster I ever tried, it was in the house. I tried finding it real quick, but I have my son and his family staying here and Apparently my stuff gets in their way, so they do whatever the fuck they want with it. Oops. Whatever they please. <clears throat> and they'll be watching this video, I'm sure, after I upload it, so they'll be pleased to see that. <clears throat> but I have bought this. You know, and I saw all the videos, and Cass super far does this. Doesn't, you know, I don't necessarily feel it cast any farther than the spinning rod casted for me. Perhaps it's somewhat me. And then I have the brake. The, the, the centrifugal brake is on three or four. The one on the outside is on three. But what can I say? I have sort of learned how to deal with it. And I really, really... Now when I use my spinning reels, I bloody hate them. They're heavy. They're bulky. I don't enjoy it quite so much. I do really like, even if you, you know, you don't get the great performance like you see so many others do, which I don't seem to. It is a different style of casting, which I'm slowly learning. The ease of the click and just flip it and toss it back in and just how light and the ease has made me want to change all my reels at one point or another. I'm just not sure which direction I want to go. Money spent on them and who to buy. Everybody has their opinion. I notice fishing reels are like guys in snowmobiles, guys in bikes. You know, 
guys in anything. We get loyal to a brand, and that's how it is. I'm not really that way. I was at Walmart shopping for my grandson's first birthday, buying some stuff, and of course, I had been to Bass Pro Shops, looked at their many, many rods. I did want to try to get like a seven foot, because I have one other seven footer, medium heavy rod. He was finding the 6.6 six medium fast action one, a little too flexible for some of the stuff, and it wasn't really a rod made for bait casting anyways, but it was in there. I almost bought the Abu Gassir Black Max. It was a combo thing, you know, the $50 for the rod and the reel. You know, would have been a well worth it because, you know, that's about the cost of the Black Max to begin with. But I did get an Abu Garcia cheap $50 next generation vengeance, you know, one piece, medium heavy, 6'6, six, because, six, you know, seven foot, I know it's only six inches, but it's tough to put it in the Jeep already. You know, is a one piece, so. But I have got it. And we're going to put the reel on it. We're going to, after we get done making this little bit about the reel. Other than to say, wow, you know, I do love, I have become a firm lover of the Baitcaster. And if you have not tried one yet, for the same reason I stayed away from them. Because I have an old one in the house. That was my father's. And I had the same problem everybody has. We all hate a bird's nest, right? Has it happened? Absolutely. I've gotten a monstrously couple of bad ones with, you know, bad cast or whatnot. But they're fewer and far between now. The cast isn't super far for me still. Learning a little technique and getting it to go right where I want it. Release time and all that sort of jazz. But once you use them for a little bit, and like how quick you can just reel it in, and snap a, you know, hit hit the button and snap another one back out there, love it. And what I couldn't really do with the other one, my left hand, cast with my left hand. I'm very right-handed, very rigidly so, and so casting with my left hand, the spinning rod was a pain in the ass. But with the Bait caster, left hand, right hand, little short, you know, under this or under that. So much better. So much better. So we are going to, what can I say? Quality, you know, I've had it two months and it seems to continue to work fine. It has one handle, has a squeak. I've caught a few small fish with it. I mentioned a videotaped it when I was at my mother's house. But I figured, eh, I'll just pop a couple tosses in. And, of course, first toss, as soon as it hit the water, a smallmouth bass, nothing big. Second cast, same thing. And, of course, no camera. And then after that, that was it. I didn't catch anything for the next 20 minutes or so that I pussed around. That's not why I was there. <clears throat> but today, we're going to put it on a different rod. One piece, a medium heavy. See how we feel about that. And... You know, now with the, the finger grip and some of the other things and just generally a stiffer rod for some of the heavier baits, the swim baits and whatnot. And as you can tell, hey, not very good at these videos. And I am constantly trying. I get here and I start to ramble. I don't know, always know what to say. It's not a well-rehearsed thing. This was a last-minute idea to do this now. As you can see, I'm just sitting in my robe. But hey, we're going to get out. We're going to line it up and we're gonna get ourselves together and hopefully we'll add a little uh, add a little video a little later on while using it you know I'll try to give my impressions as then as well and a end of summer review for the kayak which has served me well but other than that you know if you're considering a bait caster and for the same reason the bird nesting and this and that you know still give it a try I don't say don't go out and spend that hundred dollars, you know, forty dollars. Good deal, you know. If nothing else, it is a good starter reel. It didn't take long to get used to the things, the the no thumb. I didn't, you know, if I don't put a thumb on it, but it doesn't really be already. It's like an instant habit as soon as it hits the water. So, 
yeah, if you're someone who's just thinking about it, take it from someone who's not, you know, not a big fisherman and, you know, is still learning the fishing game. Give it a try because you'll find yourself probably super happy that you did once you get past that first 20 casts where a problem happens every three casts. Because really now, pretty good most of the time. You know, better than 9 out of 10. And that's really all I can say. You know, I'm not recommending this one, but at $40, I can say, yeah, $40 first reel. This way you're not spending too much money on something you might not like. I don't really think you can go wrong. Other people go to the Black Max and the this and that, and there's the Pissy Fun, which, hey, any cheap $40, $50, give it a whirl. What have you have to lose? It's $50... But I'm betting you give it half a chance, you'll be glad you did. Thanks for taking a look, and uh, we'll try to get something up real quick. We're going to line this up right now, and hop in the car, get the kayak hooked up, and we're going to go to a little spot we like, especially now that we see the sun's coming out. Enjoy. <laughs>